Hi guys, it's time to talk Pebble watch. I lost my original Pebble Steel watch that I've been using for three, well, over three years. It was a Pebble Steel. I bought it new from Amazon for um, about a hundred bucks, I think. I uh, had it attached to my flex meter wrist guard right here with Velcro. It wasn't the best connection and I it was late October, I was at the EUC games and I had all my gear and I was carrying it back to the car in my arms and I think I must have knocked it and it fell off. And this was at night, didn't discover that until the next day. And I've been lazy about trying to get a new, new one. I thought, ah, do I wanna buy a old watch that's unsupported? Cause they, they stopped selling these and supporting them at least two years ago. But there was a service that uh, that does support these watches called rebel.io. I'll put a link down below. Uh, so they're still fully, it still fully works. Um, you, I, I, this is the original, uh, original pebble. That's gotta be five. This watch has to be five to six years old. Uh, but everything works. I was able to connect up to my, I have an a Android. This is a Samsung S10 Plus running Android 10. So it's all the latest running with all the oldest. Everything works on it. Wheel log runs on it. EUC world runs on it. But, it, but that was a few months ago. And uh, in the interim, I was running without any, any uh, instrumentation. I tried this for a while. Uh, a wrist mount for a phone so you could put it on your wrist like this and and uh, I mean it works but it's it, it's bulky I have an old Android phone I, I dedicated to it and uh, it works you can see wheel lock but when you're running r riding the display would do this sometimes depending on how my arm is positioned and the numbers are small I can kind of, I can definitely see how fast I'm going real easy, but if I want to see the battery percentage, it's not, it wasn't always obvious what, what it was. It's a small value and the temperature was hard to read. Again, small numbers. Definitely not, not ideal. So a week ago I decided, okay, I'm just going to buy, buy another one. These are readily available on eBay, quote, refurbished, looks great came like this with the, the charging cable. I was able to charge up the battery and uh, seems to be holding fine. The wrist strap was broken. Again, I think just from age, but I, I don't care about that. I'm gonna remove this. I'll show you how I mount it on my wrist guard. But I was able to install um, the wheel log on here and uh, every, everything is working great. So for, again, I see a bunch of these for between 30 and $35 shipped, you can find a Pebble watch that, that will work for you. And uh, let me show you why you might want to use a Pebble watch if you're an Android user and you ride uh, electric unicycles. Okay, let me bring up wheel log. So this is the original application. Uh, written probably probably close close to four years ago now and uh, along with the Android application he wrote a pebble a pebble watch companion application to this and um, Jeff Klein turned me on to this he's he's a long long time uh, riding buddy of mine and as soon as he turned me on to it I went out and bought one of these and um, I've been a huge advocate of, uh, of using this combination of wheel log and, and uh, Pebble. So I've connected to, I'm running my um, MCM5 right now. So you can see battery level, temperature, and speed. And there's a bunch of other information available in statistics, uh, capturing 
additional data on the wheel and all this can be stored in a log file for every ride. So if I move my wheel, you can see it updating. So it's great. Now if you have a Pebble watch, I click this icon in the corner and voila, the watch is now connected. And you can just glance at your watch and you can see the temperature, 35 degrees C, I'm at 78% battery, and the speed. So again, if I move my wheel, you can see the, the resolution is a little bit lower, but basically, you know, it's, 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 it's great. It's absolutely beautiful to be, uh, to be riding and just glancing at the wheel. And there's a, a light, so at night you can, you can, uh, You can click the, you can't really see it right now, but you can click the light and uh, and see it at night. Let's see. There we go. And you can scroll through additional information, ride time, distance for this particular ride, your top speed. Uh, you know, uh, I, I just love this combination. Now this is an old wheel log. Let me disconnect from the wheel and we'll bring up EUC World and there'll be links below for this app. Again, auto connects. Now this was a, based on wheel log. So uh, he, the author of this took the source, basically forked wheel log, but, but just added a whole bunch of new stuff and I'm not going to go over that here but again there will be a link down to this application highly recommend this now but again it works with uh, your pebble so uh, I, again if you have an Android phone I say even if you don't have an Android phone just get yourself an old an old uh, Android phone or you, you can buy for I don't know, I think like 30 bucks you can buy a nice disposable Android phone that you don't have to activate but you can install wheel UC world or wheel log on it and still use a pebble watch so let me show you how I'm gonna mount this now on my wrist guard okay so last time on the watch on the, the one I lost I was using regular Velcro which held for three years but it was still it was, wasn't great so what I'm using now is 3M dual lock you could, you could call it a form of velcro but it, it kind of looks like velcro but it's really not you buy a package of this I think this is uh, I don't know, 10 10 12 bucks for 10 feet of 10 feet of this material matching material and unlike Velcro, it's the, the, it's the same, um, both, both pieces use the same material. And uh, you, you can just Google dual lock and you can read about it, but it, it's phenomenal compared to Velcro. It, it's really amazing. So what I'm gonna do is mount So I'm on my flex meter wrist guards. And you could mount this on any any wrist guard that you might use. Because I highly recommend these flex meters. They're no doubt the most expensive uh, wrist guards that you can buy. I think they're in the $80 range now. But uh, phenomenal quality and I just think they're the best. They offer the best protection that money can buy <laughs> for protecting your wrists.
and now So I'm just going to position it like this and you press and you hear it snap. Now, this time you couldn't really hear it snap, but uh, it's, it's connected. It's tight. Nothing like Velcro. So you know, kind of looks like Velcro, and you can uh, pull it off. I'm not going to pull this. One disadvantage to this is it has a, I think, a, roughly 50 times you can uh, remove it and reinstall it before it starts losing its its strength. But uh, I rarely took took it off my own one so I don't think that would be an issue and there you go so um, back to running wheel log on my pebble watch fantastic looks great so check this out guys if you're looking for a way to instrument your rides and to quickly glance at the stats on your wheel works with uh, King Song Gotway in motion and and uh, 9-bot, or the Z10 version 9-bot anyway.